So I'm an indie kid at heart. So um, when friends of mine started listening to what they were calling post-rock, I was a little wary because it has riffs and it has metal undertones. Um, started listening to bands like Pelican. Thought actually, you know, this is this is pretty good. It's complex. It's got some interesting things. Um, and that led me to to this release, which I really like. Um, I found it about the same time as Isis. And if I'm honest, there are a few kind of a few similarities between the two in an entirely positive way. Um, but this this tends to just hit those riffs a bit harder. I know it's um, a combination of two bands here, but it clearly just works very well in the studio. So if you like the kind of the, the post-rock thing, and I hate that phrase because um, I don't remember rock ending unless I missed a meeting. If you like post-rock, and if you like bands like Pelican, Mogwai, uh, Red Sparrows, Russian Circle, any of that kind of stuff, you're going to like this. There's a bit more punch and a bit more flow to this band than a lot of the post-rock bands. Um, I think if you get this release, it's going to sit somewhere really nicely in the middle of your collection. Kind of, if you've got Mogwai and the very indie-fied kind of music at one end, and then you've got the, the far harder stuff like Russian Circles, especially the later releases at the other end, buying this album is going to sit nicely in the middle. It's going to be an album that you can... Um, you can play play in front of your family without them being too shocked, but you're gonna you're gonna make them prick their ears up. They're gonna hear something they really like. So yeah, go ahead buy it. That's what I'd say. And um, you'll be wondering why you've never thought about the last days of summer before. Okay.